Welcome back. Um, in this video, we're going to be considering um, uncertainty, relative uncertainty, absolute uncertainty, and percentage uncertainty. First of all, abs absolute uncertainty is the measurement of your instrument that you're using. So if you're using a meter rule, the absolute uncertainty will be one millimeter. Um, so if you've got a reading of um, 76, be plus or minus one millimeter as your absolute uncertainty. If you've got a second reading of um, 48, it would also be plus or minus one millimeter. So in this case, the absolute uncertainty in both cases is one millimeter because that's the precision of your meter rule. Um, in order to get the relative uncertainty, we need to take that absolute uncertainty and divide it by your measurement. So in this case, we've got uh, 1 divided by 76, that gives us 0 0.013, and 1 divided by 48 uh, gives us 0 0.021. This then is your relative uncertainty. So if you compare that to that, you can see the relative uncertainty in the reading of 76 is much smaller than the reading of 48. Uh, this can then be converted to a percentage. Um, so uh, if we take that as a percentage, it comes to 1.3%, and that is 2.1%. Um, and this is your uh, percentage uncertainty. So your percentage uncertainty for the first reading is 1.3%. Your percentage uncertainty for the second reading is 2.1%. Now, that is just for single readings we can take those um, uncertainties and percentage uncertainties. If you have a data set, um, your method is slightly different in working out what the percentage uncertainty is. Um, if we've got a reading of, say, 0 0.26, 0.29, um, 0 0.77, 0 0.27, and 0 0.26. Those are your, um, your readings, so you've got a set of readings. You can obviously immediately spot that there is an anomalous data point there. Um, so really in all our calculations, we would exclude that anomalous data point. But in order to find the uncertainty um, of a data set like we have here, we have to take the range and divide that by half. So the range and divide that by, um, or half the range, sorry. So range divided by 2. In this case, the bottom value is 0 0.26, uh, the top value is 0 0.29, and so um, the range is 0 0.03, half of that would give 0 0.015 which is uh, your uncertainty. Um, because we are working in the same number of sig fig, we can round that off to 0 0.02 as your uncertainty value. So it has the same sig fig as your data set. If we then want to get the um, percentage uncertainty from that data, we take the 0 0.02 and you divide that by your mean value. Now, as I said, we exclude the anomalous data point, so the mean of the four data that remains is 0 0.27, and we get a percentage uncertainty of 7% in this case. So this is your uncertainty value, and that's your mean value. So the key thing to remember when you've got uh, a range of data rather than just one data point, you have to take uh, the mean value and your uncertainty is half the range.